Getting ready to buy or sell a home? Do you want to help support pro-life organizations? Then you need Real Estate for Life. Get a top-notch real estate agent and support pro-life causes. Go to realestateforlife.org to learn more. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be Jesus and Mary, now and forever. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the third class feast of Saint Scholastica, Virgil, who was the sister of Saint Benedict, the founder of the Benedictines. She embraced the rule of her brother and founded the order of the Benedictine nuns. There's an episode in the life of Saint Scholastica when Saint Benedict with some of the monks went to visit her and she wanted him to stay longer but he insisted on leaving so she prayed to God um, and there was a storm and he had to stay so God answered her prayer and three days after this meeting whilst he was in his cell after he had returned to the monastery raising his eyes he saw the soul of his sister going up to heaven in the shape of a dove. And Saint Benedict had the body of his sister brought to his monastery and had her buried in the tomb he had prepared for himself. And Saint Gregory the Great writes these words, I quote, Thus it was that as they had ever been one soul in God, their bodies were united in the same grave, end quote. Saint Scholastica died in the year 543. The Benedictine abbot and servant of God, Dom Prosper Garanger, writes, I quote, God in his infinite wisdom gave to Saint Benedict a faithful cooperatrix, a sister of such angelic gentleness of character, end quote. And they were really and truly one soul, St. Benedict and St. Scholastica. So she is the faithful cooperatrix of St. Benedict. We could say his helpmate. And we can see in St. Benedict and St. Scholastica an image of Jesus and Mary, an image of the Redeemer and the Co-Redemptrix, the new Eve and the new Adam. So St. Benedict and Scholastica were one soul, which in many ways means that they were one heart. Jesus and Mary were one heart. And the two hearts of Jesus and Mary, the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary, were offered to the eternal Father on Calvary as one heart for our salvation, for our redemption. It's interesting that the Blessed Virgin Mary told St. Bridget of Sweden, that just as Adam and Eve sold the world for an apple, so in a certain sense, my son and I redeemed the world with one heart. So let us pray for this for ourselves, that our heart and the sacred heart of Jesus can become one heart through the immaculate heart of Mary. Let us pray to St. Scholastica to help us to be simple and pure, simple like a dove, so that at the end of our lives our soul can take its flight to heaven, leaving this world without any stain, to have a soul that is undefiled, a heart that is completely pure, a heart that is clean, a heart that on this earth was one with the sacred heart of Jesus through the immaculate heart of Mary. Let us conclude with the words taken from Song of Songs. I sleep and my heart watcheth, the voice of my beloved knocking, open to me, my sister, my love, my dove, my undefiled. And as we have a statue here in our church of Saint Scholastica, let us pray for the possible vocations to the religious life in particular the female branches of religious life, that they may respond to the call of Jesus, calling them to become his bride, and they may respond without delay 
and follow in the footsteps of St. Scholastica. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.